Hi everyone, this video is part of Macquarie University's coding tutorials, and today we'll be working on designing a recursive problem. We won't be implementing any code yet, we'll just understand the question and figure out how to tackle the problem in a recursive way by creating the algorithm. This will make it easier to implement in the next video. Let's get started. The example we'll be using is a shopping on a budget problem. Imagine you are going shopping and you have a certain budget to spend. You're presented with a list of items, each with their own cost. We could use recursion to find the most optimal combination of items that gives us the least amount of money left over. However, this is a more complex type of problem that we will look at in a future video. To make this task a bit simpler, you just need to buy the items in order and stop once you don't have enough money to buy the next item. For each item we buy, we'll print out that we bought the item and at the end we'll return how much money we have left over. So, let's dive into the problem and see how we can identify the recursion within it. To identify the recursion within the problem, we need to break the problem down into smaller subproblems. In this case, we can start by considering the first item on the list. We can either buy the item or have to return the money. If we buy the item, we subtract its cost from our budget, take it off our list, and move on to the next item with our new budget in mind. If we can't buy the item, we have to stop looking through the list and return the money back to whoever gave it to us. We can repeat this process for the rest of the items on the list until all items are bought or we have run out of budget. Now that we've identified the recursion in the problem, we can start designing the recursive solution. To design the recursive solution, we need to determine the base case and the recursive case. The base case is the simplest form of the problem that we can solve. In this case, the base case is when we run out of items to buy or run out of money to spend. When we reach the base case, we simply return the amount of money we have left. The recursive case is where we solve a slightly smaller subproblem and then use the result to solve the current problem. In this case, the recursive case is where we still have items to buy and still have enough money left in our budget to buy the current item. We want to mention somehow that we are buying the item, then we need to subtract its cost from our budget as if we are ticking it off our list. Then we'll move on to the next item with our new budget in mind. That is, we now pretend that we have a new budget and the first item no longer exists on the list. You can imagine this as though you are making a clone of yourself and giving that clone the new budget. This new budget has the cost of the item you just bought removed and you tell your clone to ignore that same item and to start at the next one. That clone will then go through the whole process you just went through. Bear in mind, this means that if your clone is able to buy their item, they will then ask another clone to do the same with a new budget and the next item and so on. You would expect that at the end of this process, your clone that you have made would report back to you how much money is left over so you can give it back to the person who gave you the budget originally. So we now have a fully working model of how to go through the list of items recursively. We don't have one person going through the whole shopping list by themselves. Instead, we have taken the problem and broken it into smaller subproblems with all clones involved performing the same process. In this video, we looked at how to identify and design a recursive solution for the shopping of a budget problem. We learned that to identify recursion in a problem, we need to break it down into smaller subproblems. And to design the recursive solution, we need to determine the base case and the recursive case. The base case is the simplest form of the problem that we can solve, and the recursive case is where we solve a slightly smaller problem and then use the result to solve the current problem. Designing recursive problems can definitely be a tricky skill, so it's a great idea to think about how you could implement a recursive design on other repetitive tasks. This could be something like hanging up the washing or cleaning your room, going through the process that we've gone through in this video to come to a solution. In the next video, we'll take the recursive design that we've just made and implement it into code. See you there!